or lose or draw, Katie Porter is leaving the House of Representatives behind. That decision creating an opening in California's 47th district, one of the most competitive congressional seats in the entire country. Four top contenders are now looking to make it past the March 5th primary to the November general election. Remember, the top two advance regardless of party. We're talking about Republican Scott Baugh, Democrat Dave Min, Republican Max Ukrapina, and Democrat Joanna Weiss. We've offered each of them an opportunity to join us live on the Fox 11 News at 6 to make their case to voters. And tonight, we begin that process with businessman Max Ukrapina. Welcome to the show. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Alex. Thank you. For people that are just getting to know you, who are you and why are you doing this? I'm Max Ukrapina. I'm a local <laughs> business guy born and raised in Orange County, and I'm in my ticked off phase of life. And the world's on fire, and none of the, the career politicians seem to think that. I mean, all of my opponents don't realize that the border is wide open. We're $34 trillion in debt. The economy's in, in free fall. Schools are falling apart. But we need action. We need things to actually get done, right? I'm in, I'm willing to actually get things done, right? I, we need bold leaders, and I'm willing to be that bold leader. Uh, I'm sick and tired of career politicians making promises and not actually doing things about it, right? I, what I see right now, I can't just sit back. Like my family and I are willing to put our life on pause mm -hmm. and actually get stuff done. We desperately need bold leaders right now. So this is why I'm running. In your ticked off period of I'm life. I'm ticked off. Not, not your tick tock period of life. No, which definitely is, out of that. Which is maybe a different generation. <laughs> yeah. um, so the, the main Republican in this race is a guy named Scott Baugh. Yes. Who ran against Katie Porter last time around and was pretty competitive in that race. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people see him as the front runner this time around. We offered him a chance to come on and his campaign says he's not doing any interviews at all before the primary, which is a strange choice, but that's their choice. Um, how are you different than him? Why should people vote for you over him? I think his absence here it speaks more volumes about our difference, right? I am willing to actually talk about the issues with anyone because the issues matter in this race and in this country. You know, as I mentioned before, the, the world is falling apart, but it can be fixed if we have leaders that are actually willing to put in the work and, and do something about it because our community matters, our country matters, and we can have an awesome America if we have bold leaders that are willing to stand up. You mentioned the border. You recently went to the border. I did. Um, there was this big bill that just <laughs> came uh, before the Senate, and it didn't end up happening before the House, which was basically a compromise bill, which was some of the toughest border restrictions that we had seen in generations. The Border Patrol Union supported it. W would you support it? So right now, I mean, back in December, as you said, I, I met with Border Patrol. I stood at the border with them and watched as people crossed over. It's far worse than what you see on TV. And no, I would not support that Senate bill. We need to have standalone bills that fix our border. This can be fixable, right? Joe Biden is finally waking up right now that he can actually do it himself. It was working three years ago. Now we've allowed seven to 10 million people over and we need desperate action now. And I don't think we should be bundling all this other stuff into these bills to focus on the number one crisis that's happening. So. And so what exactly would that look like for you? Uh, we need to finish the wall, we need to fund Border Patrol, and we need to fix our immigration laws. Right now, they're being taken advantage of, and as you see, if we invited everyone in from all over the world, we would have to accept them given our asylum laws and give them a five to seven year free pass. So we have to shut down the border and fix our immigration laws. And is there one specific policy difference between you and Scott Baugh, or is it basically a difference in style? Yeah, it, one, it's a difference in style. I'm a fighter and I'm honest about the issues every single time. Last year, the debt limit was lifted in May of last year. Scott Baugh celebrated it. I called it BS at that moment. And now we've added several trillion dollars. We're up to $34 trillion. It's about $100,000 to every single American. And it's terrible. I mean, we can't continue to have so this you don't, happen. You don't believe in lifting the debt limit to pay for stuff that we've already, uh, debt we've already accumulated? I mean, wouldn't that potentially shut down the U.S. economy? We, it, I, I don't think we should start using scare tactics on this stuff. Like the every single siren should be going off right now. We, we have a spending problem, not a revenue issue here. We have to make massive cuts to our federal government. I mean, I've, I'm a business guy. I would not run my business or let alone my home like that. We have to be bold and make these massive cuts to everything if we want to have a proper country. All right, Max Ukrapina, thanks so much for coming in and sharing your Thank views. You, we appreciate it. We um, expect to have Joanna Weiss and Dave Min on in the days ahead to share their views as well. And we hope Scott Baugh will reconsider and share his views as well. Nice to see you.
Thank Good you. Good luck out on the campaign. Appreciate trail. it. Marla